Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to create this wave and light flickering effect using After Effects. So let's get into the tutorial. So I already have this space background with cubes moving around. So you can get the project file in the link in the description below. This is our color guide. We'll be using these colors in the future. So I'm going to turn off that layer for now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. So you're going to create a new shape layer. Make sure your fill is in white and your stroke to be none. So draw a small circle like this and align it to the center point. Yeah. I'm going to add a simple effect called glow. So apply that to your layer and your glow threshold should be zero and glow radius 60 and glow intensity at 1.1. I'm going to make color A a blue. You can copy the color code from the screen and color B to still be a light blue color and color based on alpha so we we'll see more of the blue colors. So duplicate this glow effect one more time and for this we are going to make our glow radius 301 and our glow intensity to be 0 0.8. Still same blue colors. We can copy the color code from your screen. So we have this moon looking light effect going on our ball. So right now we need to create our waves. So we'll create a new shape layer. I'm going to name this layer ball so I don't confuse you guys, so know the difference. Keep your new shape layer beneath it. Select your pen tool and draw a triangle shape like this. I think we need to adjust this point because it's... So go to the pen tool plus and select that point and take it inside. Yeah, I think it's okay like this. So add a simple color, add this effect called gradient ramp. So we'll be able to apply colors to that shape layer. I'm going to name this layer wave one because we'll be duplicating this layer four times. Keep your start and end ramp at those areas. Then for the black, select the first color from our color guide and select that color again and just go darker a bit duplicate this layer and go to your and select the next color and just select a darker color for the action and bring that layer up and go to your pen tool we, we want the wave two layer to be showing a bit yeah just a bit yeah so once you see that, I think it's okay like this. So you duplicate that layer one more time and bring it down, select the next set of colors and have a darker version. So just repeat this process again and do it one more time for a more bigger wave. Yeah, and select the last set of color. This wave is going to be even bigger. I think it's okay this way. So add, we're going to add a simple effect called wave wrap. So apply that to a wave one layer and make your wave height 11 and wave width to be 68. I think around 70 is okay. Then for your pinning, keep it in center. So copy this effect cause we'll apply it to our other layers as well. So apply it to your wave two layer. And we need the waves to be moving in different directions like for the speed so you increase the speed of this to around two yeah so we have different wave speeds going on so copy this effect go to the next wave three layer and paste it and just repeat that same process touch the width the wave width or wave speed to affect it apply it to your wave four layer as well Increase your height and wave width so you have different waves going on. 
go around two seconds and select all those layers plus your ball layer and press P for position, create a keyframe for position, go to the start of your composition and take everything out of your screen because we need it to move from outside the screen to the composition. So take it out at the start point. Then, okay, I think it's okay around there. Press Shift S for scale, create a keyframe for scale and take all those keyframes forward to that area, yeah? Then increase your scale to around 190. I'm going to move my position backwards because I don't want to see the ball. I think it's okay. So you're going to select all those keyframes and easy ease them. So go to keyframe assistance and easy ease. Go to your graph editor. Make sure your edit speed graph is on and keep your graph like this. Yeah. And move my keyframe forward. And we're going to turn on the motion blur for all our layers. Then we'll preview this. So we have this effect going on. We're going to improve on this because I can see our waves are moving in the wrong direction. So select all your layers, all your wave layers and switch the direction backwards. I'm going to do that for all our wave layers. Yeah. Then we're going to add a simple effect to our ball for the glow. We need the lights to be flickering. So press Alt and click on Glow Radius and wiggle open parenthesis 2 comma 30 and close parenthesis. So I'll preview this and you see how it looks. So you have this cool wave and light flickering effect going on. You can subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And to learn more from our channel, you can click on the video right now on your screen. Thanks for watching and always stay creative. Peace.